The concerns by these farmers, highlighted by City Business News, led to an emergency visit by the Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana National Buffer Stock Company, Hanan Abdul Wahab, to the Fumbisi and Bedelmbisi Rice Valley. The visit was to ascertain how the lack of ready market for the locally produced rice is affecting the farmers. The visit afforded the buffer stock company an opportunity to interact with farmers and witness huge quantities of bagged rice along the valleys awaiting buyers. Farmers solely dependent on Avnash Industries Ghana Limited for the purchase of the produce, but this year Avnash could not buy from the farmers, claiming that last year's stock had not been sold out fully. After a series of engagements with the farmers, Mr. Abdul Wahab outlined government's short term measures to reduce the post harvest losses. And we are going to unleash our licenses buying companies to come down here immediately and mop up the excess greens that they have here or paddy that they have here so that they can take them to nearby mills mill them and supply to government institutions so far we have over 1350 registered licenses buying companies who are working under the national food buffer stock company but we, we term this situation as an emergency one. So we would have to carefully select those who are ready with resources to come in immediately and buy. Currently, we are dealing with the uh, Ministry of Education and Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection. Uh, plans are far advanced with other government institutions like Ghana Prison Service, uh, Ghana Police Service, Government hospitals under Ministry of Health, community government schools under local government. We have requested for their food requirement so that we will be supplying them directly. MOU will be signed. But the farmers say the CEO's assurance will be considered as mere words until they have the buyers to purchase their produce, which are getting rotten. But I will be very happy when the assurances are put to practice. I will get permanent happiness when they are able to come around to help us, assist us to cut the produce away from the farms, uh, either get good warehouses to keep them and who get us a uh, very good market. It's a good news, but you know, until they come and then, I mean, is able to do what he has said, unless it is done, we won't be able to say much. As they have assured us that uh, uh, about two weeks time, they will bring people around to come and buy all our produce. We are praying that it shouldn't be one day wonder. It should be continued. The farmers have also been proposing permanent solutions to address their challenges to boost rice production in the country for export. Rice milling industry within the Fumbisi enclave. Going forward, next year by this time, we shouldn't be standing and talking about this again. We know the government can do it, and we know the president is able, and we know he will do. So if next year by this time it is not done, then we don't have a president. I'm sorry to say. The, the rice solution now will be like rice mill. And then when we have the rice mill, we should have uh, where she will also dispose his rice off. So we think uh, if government comes in to reduce uh, the importation, interpretation of rice and allowed us to also produce and then process within the country. Um, I think this problem will be surely solved. Uh, the harvesters are not there. If government can come in, try to provide platforms where the rice will be dry and permanent storage places and then provide our with harvesters. Then they will now link up with the buffer house he said to mop up every rice which is produced from this house. Buffer Stock CEO Abdul Wahab spoke about government's long-term plan to increase rice consumption in the country as a means to ending importation of rice, which will create a ready market for rice farmers. 80 of such warehouses have been awarded. We have taken delivery of seven number which are completed. We are expecting that 40 will be completed by the end of the year. 
to augment the existing one that we have. We have also identified government silos of the defunct food distribution corporation. We have, and today, some people are in talks with the Honorable Minister of Food and Agriculture to come down and rehabilitate these silos for uh, future use in the country. So those are what we want to use for the long-term long -term approach whereby we can store for food, regional food security basis. In every region, we would have a regional food security basis. In that case, we will be so much food sufficient that we will look out for formal export to our neighboring countries. Project coordinator of the Savannah Zone Agricultural Productivity Improvement Project, Felix Darimani, also hinted that plants were in place to support rice farmers with farming implements to boost rice production in the area. As part of our support to agri mechanization, we should also procure small scale to medium scale uh, processing plants so that we can have cottage processing of rice, milling of rice for the local market. Uh, SAP people is also coming in. We are procuring a number of combined harvesters. We are even procuring what we call um, automatic nurseries and transplanters for uh, valleys like this. The farmers are excited with the assurances from the buffer stock company CEO that in the next one to two weeks, buyers will come and mop up their farm produce that is going bad here at the Fumbisi and Badambisi rice valleys. But not until the buyers really come for their produce, they remain hopeless. For City News, I'm Frederick Awuni, Fumbisi.